The semiconductor industry is really struggling from a talent perspective across the board right now. In the U.S. alone, we're going to need more than 70,000 workers over the next handful of years. If we focus in on design specifically, we need at least 23,000 new workers by the year 2030. Our industry as a whole is often considered really invisible in this work. Students carry around devices all the time. We have chips in everything, but not everybody realizes that. We're also competing with a number of other industry sectors around STEM talent and engineering talent. With respect to Synopsys and Cascade, the idea that apprenticeships are even new, the idea of a chip design apprenticeship is groundbreaking in this industry. It will open up pathways for students who wouldn't necessarily have access. It will be a streamlined passageway for people to get into this field. It is easier than ever before for people who perhaps never even considered being a chip designer to enter this workforce and be productive and innovative using AI. So it's an exciting opportunity to do something that's never been done before. The Silicon Crossroad Hub, when we started really looking at how do we foster this innovation in a microelectronics domain, how do we find the workforce? How do we really get people to fill these roles and to fill these jobs? The Hub really advocated for a very unique strategy that included Cascade, which was designed to streamline the educational experience and really to raise awareness of the growing microelectronics opportunities in chip design. And when I'm talking about chip design, that includes physical design, digital verification, analog layout, all of those different things that really our industry partners are really projecting to see in a high demand in coming years. I think programs like Cascade are really important because they're able to reach a diverse pool of candidates and make like chip design accessible as a career choice. We're looking at STEM students, the normal progression of high school to college. We're looking at veterans. We're looking at upskilling adults. We are looking at adults that are at a place in their life where they just want to re-educate themselves and maybe do something different. In year one, they'd be taking Purdue classes to get them ready and then they'd be part of a community of designers. By year two, they're already being placed at companies where they're making money and learning on the job. Many students can't access a four-year degree, so this would create a pathway that would really involve and encourage people from across the board to join. A big part of this is to make sure what we are giving these individuals is relevant. They show up, they understand their role, and they're relevant from day one. We know that the war for talent is just going to continue to escalate, so we're going to create a much larger pool of potential candidates through this program. AI is transforming the way we work. With AI, engineers can perform tasks much more productively. With the ability to process large data sets with high levels of autonomy and deliver results that impact their work every single day. I recently visited the Computer History Museum and seeing how computers and chips were made in the past. You see how people designed by hand on paper giant circuits and created room-sized computers. Now we design chips using high-level languages such as System Verilog and EDA tools are used to take that code and translate that into smaller building blocks. These building blocks are circuits that get placed on a chip and other EDA tools intelligently connect them and route them. With AI, engineers can augment the exploration of choice, not one or two or three experiments at a time, but hundreds of experiments at a time to help them get to highly optimized solutions. Purdue is playing a pivotal role in Cascade by bringing in students who have a range of prior experiences and then having an intensive one-year program in which they develop the knowledge and skills that are needed for integrated circuit design. This is a key area of microelectronics where tens of thousands of jobs are expected to be created in the next six years. When students complete this initial first year of courses, then they'll spend one year at the industry sponsor, develop their skills in a real world. The intent is for students to be able to stay at that company long term and then to offer the option of online courses so they can continue their degree program if they wish to do so. 
We live in times of unprecedented opportunity for innovation and creativity, and it could not be more true than in the case of chip design. I think programs like Cascade play a big part in making sure that we are able to reach a diverse pool of talent out there. I think what we do in chip design industry is very cool. It drives all of the smart devices and all of the innovation out there. And it's important for a diverse pool of talent, students and new hires to become a part of this and keep the innovation going.